This video is just going to be me firing through a 20 chunk buffer with this cannon consisting of three mine chats and region filters and flat walls with slabs at the bottom. This is to showcase that I'm able to region bust with this cannon, float with it, AP, bust these, backstack, close, shoot far, and to region bypass, to filter bypass. At all ranges, this is a full 20 chunk buffer. When firing the cannon, the cannon is not going to be under any protection blocks below or above. It's completely just going off of water. Now, when I run into any problems or any walls, I'll just be showing what I change. It's a three second, so I'll be firing at three seconds with shot control on. I'll be firing 255 and barrel stacking sometimes just to backstack. And I'll be showing AP off if someone was going to try to straight line and what would happen if someone did try. So I'll be hitting these blocks here. It's a 16 hole pseudo, so you'll see a lot of holes in the walls. Now to simply start off, we're going to realize what we're shooting at. So it's a flat wall, so that's simple. So you can turn on slab bus because there are slabs at the bottom. Those are stone slabs. Turn on pseudo because you want to nuke the stack. Region bust is off. You don't need AP on, but AP can be on. AP is toggleable by placing a redstone on that red wool and on this red wool. I want to turn on one shot, which is also OSRB essentially, but for this cannon it's just used as one shot. And you don't have to, but this is barrel stack right here. You can turn it on or off, it doesn't matter for flat walls. But generally you can keep it off for now. So I'm just going to count these walls quickly till we hit regen, so one, two, six seven eight so let's use eight in shot control then i'll fire away oh fun whatever i'll just get through this quickly as i see it pseudos all the way down would like to load Once it loads, there you go. So we are hitting a mine chat. We won't be able to bust that too well. These are watered properly, so even if you hit the top, it doesn't matter. They regen. You may realize they're made out of obsidian because some people are like that. They make their regens out of obsidian. I'll show you the, why that doesn't matter at all, actually, on this cannon. On some cannons it might, usually it doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna drag on to region bust, turn off auto, turn on region bust. When region busting you can't have one rev on, you can have all this other stuff on, we don't need bypass on. I should mention that both these are bypassed, both that red wool and this red wool. Though you don't touch this red wool unless you're in the nether. And this red wool is only for dry regen filters. Regen bust is on by fire. First off, you'll see that it doesn't do anything because it is a properly made mine chat and it does push water. So for this I'm going to align one to the left. Like so, and fire. Pseudo will take down the sand stack. Now, for people that don't want water inside their regions, for here it doesn't matter, but on other servers it might. To get rid of this water, it's simple. All you have to do is turn off OSRB. 
server restarted and I'm back on. So I was about to barrel stack inside of the actual region. You can keep all this on except for, sorry, you can't keep it all on. You can only keep on pseudo really, though it's not needed neither. So I actually recommend you take it off if you want to. I actually recommend that you do take off pseudo so it doesn't mess up anything. It just makes a bigger hole, quote unquote. You keep your one shot on. AP still stays off because you don't need it on. You can keep it on if you want to, but it's just to get rid of that water inside of the regen. The water is now gone inside the regen, the obby is now busted, and you can fire right through. So for the next mine shot, I shall move one to the left. That simply takes turning on OSRB. Oh no, I have to redo my sand. Give me a moment. So for this, I just need to turn on OSRB. Again, take off barrel stack. I won't be barrel stacking for each obsidian part inside of regions for the rest of them as it's not needed on this server. So I guess this is a good example of what I can do with this cannon. So I forgot to turn on pseudo, which sometimes you do forget to turn on things in cannons or turn off things. So if you do run into this predicament and you're close to the base, about 20 chunks to 23 chunks away from this sand pillar, you should be able to still shoot through that one by one, through this small one by one. So I'm going to turn off OSRB. Actually, I can keep OSRB on. It doesn't matter. So I'll show you that I can shoot through the one by one with this cannon. So that worked just fine. Funny enough, it pushed water into there. I'm gonna get rid of this. Firing again should get rid of it. Should stack sand in between there. Uh, funny. So I'm running into the problem that OSRB is gonna continuously backstack. To fix this problem, just turn on sudo and turn off OSRB. I should have turned off OSRB to stop that from happening, but if you ever do run into that problem, turn on sudo. You can also turn on slab bust. One rev doesn't matter in this situation, and OSRB comes off. That's gone, the regen is gone, funny enough, and the water is gone from inside. For this regen, I can move over one to the left again, but as you see, I'm going to need to blow through more of the wall on the obsidian, or I can go over to the right some more. So I'm gonna have to bust this regen. I should have started with this regen, but I didn't. So my two options are either bust down the walls or so bust down those again or just hit this. So I would like to hit this mine chat, but I can't as this one's getting in the way and that one's getting in the way. So best option is to hit there. Turn on OSRB, simple stuff. Slab bus, keep on. And also be. There you go. Oh, <laughs> I'm hitting the wrong thing. That's why. My bad.
I probably shouldn't have kept OSRB on. I'm gonna run into the same problem. No, I have pseudo on, so I shouldn't. Okay, move one to the right. You just make your way through the mine chat simply. Just to make sure I clear the regen. You already know what that looks like. So I've showed floating capabilities, it's shooting through a one by one. And I'll show it shooting through a one by one further down the line. So now we're on to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight walls. I'm gonna turn on shot control again. I'll actually show AP now. So say someone does find out that they are like that you are raiding them. And they try to straight line. Let's just say they try to straight line these beginning walls again. So they start here and they go over here. Let's just say time stops right there. Let's just say that's as far as they get when your next shot comes in. So your next shot's going to look like this. So AP is now on. You don't need one shot region bust. You can't one shot region bust. You cannot OSRB with AP on. It doesn't work on the wall. Well, it'll work on the wall. Like it will bust the wall, but if you do aim at a regen with AP on, it will not regen bust. Okay, you don't need one rev. Pseudo's on, slab bust is on. So if you start firing, because you know you're about to hit walls, so you turn on shot control, let's just say you need 11 shots, let's say you shoot. So first shot's going to look like this. So there goes their line, and AP will continue to move through this. They try patching. Goodbye, patch. Due to how this server works for patching, you're able to place blocks on entities when they're in water for whatever reason. But it does work through straight lines and it should work perfectly fine on the server. So I just need two more shots. Simply. You already know what this looks like. You're shredding their walls also. There's two walls. So when you run into situations like these with regen filters, you're gonna wanna backstack. There are other ways to bust them when there is lava in front, but due to this cannon shooting so far, you can't do, for the people who know what I'm talking about, you can't do that. Can't do that on this cannon close because you're firing too close. It fires 23 chunks in a game tick. So it's going to go through what you're trying to do and you can't put it on a different guider as what you're thinking of doing is not gonna work on this. So for this, we're just shooting in between I'll show backstacking capabilities right now. If you need a backstack, it's simple. For backstacking, obviously, you want to take off AP. When disabling AP, you can just re remove this one piece of redstone and AP is completely off, essentially. But to save TNT, you also want to take off the AP's power. 
So let's simply turn off. I should also mention this is a button spammer. You don't need to put it on an auto. I'm just putting it on an auto as I don't want to button spam and button spamming is the exact same as autoing. So you can take off one shot. So the only two things that break walls on this is pseudo and one shot, which are the two I disabled. That is one rev to barrel stack. And you can keep slab bust on if you want to. For this, I'm going to need to keep it on. Click that down, fire away. You may have noticed I didn't put any shot control in because I need to backstack a lot. I'll be backstacking through regen filters. So as you see, this is barrel stacking. Barrels here. As that works through, I'll just show you. So that is barrel height. So it does keep backstacking. It's going to keep backstacking. This is on a three second clock. This is what backstacking will look like. You cannot have AP on when you are backstacking like this because then it's just going to AP through the sand stack, and that's not something you want. So you're going to see it work through the region filter. Goodbye region filter. It's going to keep backstacking. So that's one region filter completely gone. See? Now, I didn't need to bust it, but I did. These are at two different Y levels. So this will completely get rid of all this lava in this one. You can OSRB inside of this one. When your back stack is here, this shot, or sorry, when your back stack is here, you want to OSRB inside of here and it will get rid of both of these. So it will get rid of a four wide gap instead of getting rid of a two wide or two cobblestone. So that's gone. So both these regen filters are gone. I'm able to shoot under them and I'm able to hit there again. So I'm simply going to turn on pseudo and just regularly shoot through these walls again. So that's how you simply backstack that quickly. So you can keep one rev on if you want to. Pseudo stays on and you want one shot, almost forgot. And you can turn on AP. That's that gone. Big explosions happening. And it's just going to work through the walls again. Now, I don't know if I'm going to clip on these regen filters. I hope I do. Damn it, I don't. <laughs> I'm going to have to adjust so I do. You know, why, why would you adjust uh, into regen filters? Well, it's just to show you that it can shoot through one by ones really far. And I'm going to showcase it bypassing see AP hit back wall it's gonna shoot so I'm gonna stop there and so if I just either once to the left or to the right 
and adjust once. Actually, funny enough, I can actually just adjust once to the left and I should be fine. So thanks to me busting those previous regens, I actually have all the space I need to adjust once to the left or once to the right. So adjusting once to the right, I should be clipping. So barrels here, I fly forward, sorry for any So usually people would clip through, they would clip on this block here, but due to the excessive amount of power on this cannon, I'm actually going to shoot through this one by one, and I'll showcase this here. Simply gone. Looks like my one shot didn't make it, let me try that again. There you go. Some odd shots. So yes, I shot through the little one by one. If my barrel was one more down, which I can actually do right now, go one down for both. You can change AP if you want to, but I may as well change it here. So that's simply changing barrel by one down. And let's see, I should be clipping now. be hitting this regen right there yep one shots being weird did I turn on one shot no I turned off one shot no one shots on let me go take a look quickly Yeah, no, one shot is on. Guess it just doesn't like it. Or at least me not loading cannon and firing far away. <laughs> Usually you'd have someone at cannon. So now you may be wondering, well, what do you do? This cannon ha this cannon should be able to filter bypass, and you are correct. It can bypass up to four filters. Now, when bypassing filters, you only want bypass. You only want as much bypass as there are filters. So as I said, we're not in nether. If you're not in nether, don't touch that. Only touch this one. So this turns bypass on. Now for each piece of redstone here, you can bypass one filter in the overworld. Um, and same thing for in the nether. So that would bypass one in the nether. Like I said, we don't need to touch that right now. Or at all. So this should bypass through the one filter and continue shooting through the walls. My one shot's acting really weird. I'm going to get my alt- oh, I can't get my alt on. Try slash lever. I wish I could get my alt on and there's no chunk loaders on you. One shot's going somewhere and I have no idea where. Oh, is it working now? It's working now. For whatever reason. So it's going right through the region filter and AP is still going right through and I can actually showcase that here. Oh yeah, I forgot I'm actually aiming one lower. Oh no, they're getting through our buffer. Ah. And there you go. AP just went through all that. So now you're stuck here. So what do you do now? Your AP might be getting through, but you're still stuck on this one. Well, this cannon can actually bypass up to four region filters right now. But you can add it to where it does... Hold on. 
Did slash lever not work? Oh god. Frames, please. Yeah, it looks like these chunks weren't loaded. Cannon still didn't blow up, and sand was still firing nicely. It's just one shot acted a bit weird. I'm guessing it happened with OOE. Okay, so we need to add one more bypass. It's as simple as adding a piece of redstone. I should have fired. Unless cannon blew. Or unless, oh, there you go. Hmm. I think I actually need to load cannon now. Because it is too far. Oh, nope, cannon blew. So, this happens when you do not load your cannon. I was actually waiting for this to happen. Because you actually need someone at cannon. They need to disable all TNT toggling. And that's going to keep stacking. Hold on. There you go. So I do have a copy of the cannon. I'm just going to paste it quickly. That's cannon completely repasted. Everything's all nice. So I'm just going to have to keep rolling with it. You know, not in protection blocks. Because I told you I was going to keep firing without protection blocks. I'm going to not fire with AP as that does like the serve and I don't want to hindrance other people. I'm simply retoggling everything that needs to be toggled. Two. And I'm just going to fire once from here. Creating this wall. Goodbye wall. This works completely fine. Now I'm just going to flick lever. So now has my lever flicked. Continuously AP here. It's going to continuously move through these walls. They may be asking why is it not making such a big hole as these ones at the very top. I don't know. Probably because I took off one rev. Now, I'm going to take off lever. No way for it to stop firing. Okay. Now, I'll show you the problem. So, there are four regen filters on the base that I don't want to shoot through. Or that I saw, actually. Let's just say I saw four. I don't want to have four always enabled, as if I do the do this if I do do this now, I don't believe it should work. If it does, then that means swing isn't actually affecting these pieces of TNT. But usually it does affect it, and it will mess up the shot here. Usually. Um, at least on the first game take it shouldn't. So all these should be fine. The shot should be fine. If it's gonna fire. I have a bad feeling about this. No, nope, cannon's completely fine. Yeah, except for that. You don't like to see it, but that just happened. 
So this uses a staircase guider and with a daylight sensor, there's that back in business. I don't know why that busted. That shouldn't have busted. That must have been due to power not being able to be ticked on. Sorry, I almost fell asleep because this should have worked. Did it blow it up again? Okay. It was completely fine like this. And it should be fine. Okay, I'm gonna fire it from here. So, we're on this wall. If it bust that piece of cobble, then I know that it worked. This is what happens when you fire a cannon when it's not loaded. Don't do it. It's not good. All should be good if someone is loading cannon. So it did blow up wall just fine. But if you have your if you have this on any later tick, if you put it on a game tick later, it's going to most likely mess up your shot at wall due to this cannon having AP. Or being able to, sorry, not AP, but due to the cannon being able to shoot really far, a game tick, you can actually keep it on that for now, and it'll do completely fine. Okay, so I'm just going to fire three shots. Put that into shot control, flick on lever. Shot control, three. So that should be all three of those walls gone. So let's just count how many walls I need to fire through. So these are obviously, these regen filters are all the same Y height. Usually they aren't, so that means you're able to shoot through some of them. So I'd be able to shoot through here. If I did raise up barrel, I'd be able to shoot through all of them actually. So there's one dry region filter, two, three, four, and for the last one, it's not dry. Now, I'm not going to add one more piece of bypass. I could, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to simply change Y guider. But I'm going to count the amount of shots I'm going to need to break through all these, which is. So it's 17 shots until I hit this last one. So. I'm just going to go back to cannon. I'm going to put 17 into shot control. I'm just going to let it run. And it should bust through those back ones. Seventeen. I'm just going to let this run.
Okay. Oh, oops. There's 17 shots gone. All used up. Now, if we head over here. Yep, all these walls are gone. And we're stuck on this last one. Now, because this cannon does shoot really far, I'm just going to raise barrel back up to, you know, normal height. Shoot through this. And then we should be into base. Which I'm just going to hit this diamond block, actually. Uh, one more out. Let's try. Yeah. So it should shoot through all the one by ones that I need to. Using barrel up is as simple as that. You should also mention when you raise barrel, you don't need to break the bottom of it. You just need to break the top. Or you don't need to break this side one at all. You just need to break those or place those to change Y height. For changing the X value, obviously change the X value. Or if you're aiming, I believe, west or east to west, yeah, you change Z value. So if I fire, this should make it through all the one by ones. Oh, I didn't <laughs> I didn't fill it with a shot. Take a look at that. Now to I'm gonna take off bypass as I just realized I still had those on. But even if I did have all bypass on, it wouldn't be able to hit that back regen. It wouldn't do anything. Because all four of these pieces of TNT are getting shot out. So if I disable bypass, I fire. You'll notice the second wall is gone. I'll fire one last time. Jeez, speed 10 is really fast. And then I'm just going to barrel stack to show you that it's simple. And there's the barrel stack. That's a full 20 chunks. That's 160 walls. Count the chunks with me that it just one by one through. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Full 20 chunk buffer in an instant through a one by one. You hate to see it, cannoners love to use it. You would be in by base by that point. I should mention this thing would be able to double tap, but due to the server that I'm playing on, I did not incorporate it. There are easy ways to do it, such as just delaying hybrids, blah, 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 blah. Simple. So, three mine chats gone. All this wall pseudo down. Backstack, all this just completely backstacked quickly. You saw how fast that was. You can't have AP on, so you got to be careful about that. When you are backstacking, you got to make sure that they are not patching. Or, you know, just shoot through the one by one and then backstack the one you need to. Or, you know, just aim to the left and then don't worry about it. For these, you just shoot right through. So you can either use bypass, you can either bust them. Or with this cannon, because it has enough power, it's a fusion also, it goes right through this little one by one. 420 chunks.
Obviously, I had more power on this. I was able to shoot 40 chunks, 44 chunks more specifically in a game tick. So it doesn't matter how far you were shooting, you could still shoot right through it. But yes, if you would like to see more stuff like this, or for myself to go through a more complicated base layout, then, I mean, comment it, and I most likely might. I say might because I might be doing other things also. 16 hole pseudo, 17 if you count the top. Wonderful. Goodbye, Obsidian. So that was 400 blocks. That's more than 20 chunks. And as you see, it just went through it. Is that a full 20 chunk tunnel? Seems like it. I like that. That's yeah, a full 20 chunk tunnel. Who would have thought? Okay, well that's that's that's, that's the video. I mean, <laughs> I don't think they can get a full 20 chunk straight line on you instantly. So I mean, it's fun. Uh, I should also mention obsidian breaks on four hits on here. Uh, three hits, sorry. So that's why it went through 20 chunks of that. So it's able. So if they do straight line with cobble, you're right through. 